So we're still here in Santa Monica. We filmed the work with BBC, um, Brandon Carter. What's going on, guys? These are some Kino hey. Body followers. Hey, man. What's your name? <laughs> Morgan. Morgan, what's up? Hey, Josh. Josh, nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you. Noah. Noah. Um, let's go over here so we got the lighting on us. Um, so, Josh, you're the first Kino Body follower? Yeah. And you got these two guys on? Yeah, these are my brothers. Great, 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 great. Cool. Y'all loud as fuck. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. So we'll go over here. We'll go over like here. Insane. That's honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, how'd you? What would you like most about Kino Body? What made you want to be? Um, want to follow this just stuff? Just the nutrition aspect. I mean, yeah. nutrition is really, really important if you want to like look a certain way. Yeah. So, I think you have a lot of really good. Like the intermittent food. fasting? Yeah. Yeah. That really, that like really works. I'd For leaning down and staying satisfied. Yeah, I'd recommend cool. anyone to do that. I mean, you've got a ton of good info. Yeah. Do you follow any Kino Body stuff? Heck yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. really into intermittent fasting. Okay, sick. Doing it really right now? Inspired. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm trying to push to 18-hour windows. 18 hours, yeah. Yeah, that's sweet, dude. How about you? Are you falling yeah. yet? Yeah, I'm fasting right now, actually. Are you fasting, man? Are you losing muscle? No. No, I'm making gains. Yeah. How are your chin ups coming along? They're pretty good. I think I'm around 30. That's sick. Yeah. You can do 30. You can do a one arm cool. chin, too. You can do one arm chin? Yeah. yeah. Probably not right now. I'm super tired. No, I know. I, know. I wouldn't ask. just did 36 in a row. You did 36 in a row? Oh, it's wide grip. Super yeah. wide that's grip. Insane. I didn't want to hang that arrest, so. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just walking back from the coffee shop. And a question I just got on my Instagram was, you know, should I do fasting three days a week and then eat more calories on the other days? Um, is that beneficial? And I actually get this question a lot. People want to know, like, you know, Greg, should I do two days of fasting or is like once, once a week enough? Um, so on and so forth. And, you know, my answer is really simple. Fast every day. Um, fast every day. That's it. You know, because um, the benefits of fasting are huge. And when you do it every day, it's far more effective. Um, some people talk about doing like longer fasts, like once or twice a week, like the 24 hour fast that Brad Pilon talks about. But like my experience is that we want to teach you to be able to eat in a way that supports your fitness goals on a daily basis. Um, because if you are able to hit a deficit once a week, twice a week, and then on the other days you're not able to control your, your calorie intake, well, you're going to be running around in circles. In fact, you want to find a way to make every day absolutely enjoyable while hitting your fitness fat loss, muscle building goals. And um, fasting on a lean bulk is very effective to ensure little to no fat gain and make bulking downright enjoyable, okay? Because at the end of the day, you know, if you're on a bulk, you can eat like a ton of food and you don't have to be that clean. Hit your protein numbers, you know, get a good amount of micronutrients in there, eat, get, get some fruits and veggies, and then eat the stuff that you like, you know, lots of potatoes, maybe you want to have some like sugary cereal, some frozen your ice cream, you know, eat the foods that you want. Um, as long as you hit your calories, hit your macros, you'll build muscle very nicely. So um, definitely if you're gonna do fasting, do it every day. You don't need to fast for 20, 24 hours. Simply pushing that first meal at least four hours after waking is sufficient. So let's say, you know, you wake up at 7 a.m., try and push it to 11. Break your fast with an apple or banana or a piece of fruit. Stave off, that will stave off hunger for a few hours. So then you essentially broke your fast 11, but you can continue um, for a couple more hours before you have that big meal. Because my thing is like, um, the, eat, the later you push that, that first meal, the better. And so you're breaking your fast with a piece of fruit, but then you're pushing that first meal even later, which just makes, you know, makes everything more fun. Because um, if I have a big meal too early, I'm gonna wanna eat again. Um, but you don't have to do that. Some days I won't even do the, the, the fruit breaking, breaking the fast with the fruit. Um, but also another reason to fast every day is because um, your body adapts to it and becomes really easy to fast. It becomes downright enjoyable, like so freaking easy. And that's because you have different hormones that regulate appetite, like ghrelin and so forth. So initially when someone starts intermittent fasting, they may find it difficult for the first three days to two weeks. And that's because their body um, is adapting uh, to regulate appetite to the new eating pattern. So if you're gonna do fasting, do it every day. If you really wanna have breakfast, like maybe once a week, you know, have breakfast or brunch, but like, you know, the benefits of being in that fasted state, you feel so good. Like, I have, I've never had a desire to eat first thing in the morning since going on IF. So I probably haven't had breakfast in five years. I think I may have, I may have had breakfast twice, and it was because I was so hungover that like the night before I didn't really even eat anything. I got so drunk and I was so hungover and I was like, maybe I should eat something. Um, and I was like, you know, but it was like twice in five years. It's like fasting is incredible. Do it every day, man. That's all I want to say. If you want to download my fasting handbook, that's at kinobody 
Bob.com slash fast. And if you want to find out the best program for you and all my courses um, utilize fasting because it helps it a ton. Um, even my buddy Christopher Walker, he talks about how fasting improves hormone functioning. There's actually some studies show that um, intermittent fasting can indirectly improve testosterone quite significantly. It does some really powerful stuff. Improves insulin sensitivity, nutrition partitioning, so on and so forth. Um, anyways, if you want to find the best course of mine for you, go to uh, kinobody.com slash survey. All right, that's all. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.